have you back. How are you? Terrible. You? Oh, you know. Wonderful service. Flowers were lovely. Your dad would have hated it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he would. Mum, it might be a good time to start thinking about yourself. Get out of this. You could go on a cruise, get a caravan. <laughs> caravan? I can't just leave. People counting on me. What about Nick and Michelle? Mum, Nick's 34 years old. I think it'd be all right. <laughs> you know what I mean. I'm serious. Maybe you should step away. Dad wouldn't want you worrying about the business. You know what your dad would have wanted? Everyone to get out so he could watch the snooker. <laughs> You know that, don't you? I know. God, you look just like him. He wasn't much younger than you when we met. When was that? 1937. He was a lot funnier than you, though. <laughs> What's going on? Ah, stay behind me. Get in! They're all over us! Put the weapons down. Now! Oh, fuck. Clint, do as she says. Don't move. Listen, love. You don't know the fuck you're dealing with. Just put the gun... <laughs> Okay, it's clear! He moved. Anne, do you know I am? <laughs> yeah, of course you do. For those of you that don't, my name is Anthony Sharp. I'm a businessman. And like all good businessmen, I like to seek out new opportunities. Oh, for fuck's sake. I've just buried my husband. Yeah, I know. And it's a terrible thing. But like I said, new opportunities. The thing is, it's very difficult getting you all together. And my offer is for the whole family. Yeah, can we hurry this up, Tone? I've got a date tonight. You open your fucking mouth again! and I'm gonna put a bullet through her face. What is it you want? What do I want? Your operation, all of it, networks, assets. Oh, come on, I don't need to tell you how this works. You've done it plenty of times yourselves. You just keep on doing what you're doing. Think of it as a merger. Apart from you. You can fuck off back to the army. And I know what you're thinking. You're tempted to push back, but I strongly advise against that. I don't want this to be a hostile takeover. I'm sure you don't. I've got a lot of respect for you, Anne. You're a clever woman. You'll do the right thing. All right. Well, I think I'm just about done here. This is my brother Keach. He He's the absolute best with numbers. And he's gonna make sure that this transition runs smoothly. Right. I need ledgers, receipts, contact books, diaries, you name it. I wanna know when you last saw your fucking proctologist. Come on, chop chop. Someone clear that up. The Sharp Brothers. They've done well for themselves. I get why they want your family business. I mean, it's the best network in Europe, but... 
It's an area they have zero expertise in. Do you have a history with Tony? Yeah, we knew him. He had his thing, we had ours. But he's never a problem. So why now? He saw an opportunity. An opportunity? Mm. On the day of your dad's funeral? That guy is a total asshole. We've done worse. You're right. We have. Oh. <laughs> there was one thing we've all been wondering. What's that? How the fuck did you get out of there? <laughs> <laughs> How many are there? Six? Maybe eight? I'll tell you what. This accountancy lark is hard fucking going. Oh, what a prick. I'm gonna do him. Nick. Might try some of this scotch. Celebrate our new union. <laughs> Who's gonna pour it for me? How about one of the Marx brothers? Here. Which one's Groucho? <laughs> now that's actually pretty good. Yeah. Did you hear that, Ryan? Our surname's Marx, and we're brothers. <laughs> so that makes us the Marx brothers. <laughs> Did you just think of that, kid? <laughs> <laughs> or you, Annie. Go on. Have a little drink with me. <laughs> we could do shots. <laughs> Won't be doing any shots with that. <laughs> eh? Safety's on. Eh? No, it ain't. <laughs> the Marx family in action. Talk about a well oiled machine. That's some serious gangster shit right there. So, what comes next? What would you have done? I would retrench, talk to my people, make sure I could trust them. Gather resources, head somewhere to plan the counterattack. Somewhere safe. That's some gangster shit of your own there, Carson. I thought we'd never shut up. Right, we need to get out. Fire escape. Nothing? Okay, keep me updated. Sharp's got to be somewhere. Still no sign then. I should wear that awful headset. She's starting a cab firm or something. Dick. <laughs> what have we got? Tony's been approaching some of our people. Most of them just told him to fuck off. Someone's helped him. Find out who. Safe houses? All good. Warehouse is secure. Scott's on his way to the courtyard now. We'll take care of the rest of it. And Clint. Someone needs to tell Sarah and the kids. We're on it. Make sure they're looked after. That American bird. What do we know? She's military. Professional. No wonder you shit yourself. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're not wrong. No one knows anything about her. It's weird. You can't... Hold on. Go ahead. We need to talk about what we do next. We give him a slap in terms of fucking behave. He's just trying it on because Dad's gone. No, he's gone way too far for that. He's not going to start an all-out war. He's not big enough. Well, he clearly thinks he is big enough. We need to push back hard or we're finished. Tony's got to go. Got it. Thanks. We know where Tony's going to be tonight. Private party at his casino. Great. You might as well be on fucking Mars. Yeah, he'll be surrounded by his best people. Then the last thing he'll expect is me turning up. No way, Ryan. You are keeping well out of this. It could work. No, it's madness. Could you do it? I can do it. Did you hear what I just said? You are not getting involved. But I'm already involved. I could be in and out of there before anyone knows what's happened. I deal with situations and people a lot heavier than Tony Sharp. Ryan's right. What the fuck are you thinking? Tony won't stop here. We know that. Mum, Ryan's trained for this. Anyone else, you wouldn't think twice. But it isn't anyone else, is it, Nicholas? It's your brother! Okay, okay, fine. At least we know where Tony will be tonight. We can keep an eye where he goes afterwards and then pick our moment. Why risk waiting? If we've got a chance to take him down, we should do it. All right. But the first sign of trouble, Ryan, we get you out of there. Of course. What weapons we got? Let's have a look. Follow me. Dad's first safe house. <sighs> Haven't been in here since I was a kid. Don't think we need this place again. Could you all be kept here, though, eh? Hey. Yeah. 
Come on. Gonna need to stay in radio contact. I'll go and find you an earpiece. When you're ready, head to the casino. I'll see you there. I think I'm gonna need some explosives. I'll see what I can do.
inside. This place is crawling with Tony's dodgy mates. Okay, in and out as fast as we can. Shoot the catch. Okay, so I just saw our old friend Cage. You obviously didn't hit him hard enough. Roger that. Sharp won't be attending tonight after all. But he wants the night to be a success. So act like he's still the guest of honor and behave yourselves. Ryan, did you hear that? Tony's not even fucking here. Tony's not here. But Keech is. Rig the casino. Make sure you're out before I trigger it. Keach is heading to the lift. Copy. down, Keach. Which floor?
found him. Room 53. And shutting down power now. Cameras are offline. Time to go. Remember how I taught you? Of course. Placing the charge. Yep. Inserting the detonator. Yep, good. Careful. Press the red button. Okay, it's armed. Nice one. Now get out of there. Okay, I'm heading to the car. Ryan, be careful. I'll fucking have you! of C4 around the room. Soldier.
In the flesh! Room 53. Ryan, we need him alive. All right, Keach, remember me. Oh, shit. Ryan, don't let him get away. Really? Get someone on five. He's trying to kill me. Shoot him! Shoot him! Oh, that could have been me, you... All right, Keach, remember me. Oh, shit. Ryan, don't let him get away. Really? Get someone on five! He's trying to kill me! All right, Keach, remember me. Oh, shit. Ryan, don't let him get away. Really? Get someone on five! He's trying to kill me! Shoot him! Shoot him!
All right, Keach, remember me. Oh, shit. Ryan, don't let him get away. Really? Get someone on five! He's trying to kill me! Shoot him! Shoot him! Mr. Shaw, 
Won't be on site at all tomorrow. He's planning on going to his art gallery again, but not till late. No bunking off in the meantime. Interesting. Ryan, I've got guards blocking my exit. I need a distraction. Roger that. Right. What have we got here? Nice one. What's that music? It's coming from the club. Attention, all security personnel. Redirect to nightclub immediately. That got their attention. Requesting urgent assistance. Repeat, urgent assistance. Then let's make some noise. Yeah, <laughs> 
door. I'll see you at the car. Shit, they've clocked me. Take her down! Take her down! I've got your back, Michelle! You're clear! Nick! Don't wait for me! I'll cover you! Man down! Request urgent assistance! Time to blow this fuck up. I'm in the alley with the car, Ryan. Hurry! Michelle, keep the engine running. I'm on my way. I just gotta say, you don't fuck around. In for a penny. All right. Now we're getting somewhere. Tony threatens you on the day of your dad's funeral. You decide no deal? Yeah. So now you're in a war. You go to the casino to find him. He's not there, but his brother is. Oh, his brother? Oh, I can't remember. Sure. <laughs> so you blew the place sky high. No, there was a gas explosion. Oh, yeah. And no one got hurt either. That was lucky. Yeah, really lucky. <laughs> so Tony told you not to push back. His casino goes up in a fireball, and his brother's dead. Is that it? Mm, oh, I think I broke a window. Really? Was it worth it? Did you find anything? Yeah. Okay, good. And? Well, after the casino, I thought it was time for some culture. Culture? Mm-hmm. Cool. Can you sit, please? You're making my neck sore. <laughs> sure. Worst nights in the casino. Yeah, that got out of hand real fucking quickly. The plan was to kill Tony, not his brother. Accidents happen. Well, Tony was supposed to be there. Have some good information, sis. Fuck off. Well, he certainly knows he's in a war now. What did you find out? Tony's art gallery. He seems to be spending a lot of time there. Tony Sharp, patron of the arts. Fuck it, now. It's all about his ego. He wants respectability. By the looks of it, a new exhibition. We need to figure out what he's really up to. Yeah. I'm gonna go and find out. You're just gonna walk in there? Oh, I got it. Why don't you take a beret and an easel and then you can really blend it? <laughs> yeah. Try these. How do I look? Wait. Where did Ryan go? <laughs> it was right there. I was just talking to him. <laughs> Fucking hell, bruv. Ryan Marks, man of a thousand faces. <laughs> I teach you that in the army. All right, all right. <laughs> You need to get into that gallery and see what's happening. Yeah, I'm on it. If Tony's there, you know what to do. Wait, Mum, I just got an email. I'll put it up on the screen. Marx, you fucking coward! You're fucking dead! Dead, you fucking hear me! Find him! I want him fucking dead. Where's Kayla? Where's Kayla? We'll get her here! Now! You fucking can't hide, Marx. You're fucking dead. You and me, Keats did fuck all to deserve that. You're fucking dead. Find him. He seems to be a bit upset about something. We need to get this under control. All right then. Let's get going. Be careful. Hello. Welcome to the Anthony Sharp Modern Art Collection. Named after yours truly, and entrusted in perpetuity to the people of London by one of their own. I'll be your guide throughout your visit. Truth be told, I was a bit of a scallywag in my younger days. But I always had a passion for art. 
when I was 12, me and my mates painted a mural on the wall of the local chip shop. The owner, recognising the obvious quality of the work, decided to give us regular payments to maintain the artwork. Other local business owners soon entered into a similar arrangement. I'm joking, of course. The mural ended up in a local newspaper. Everyone loved it. People have an image of me. I know that. Working class lad turned property developer. They think all this art stuff is an affectation, that somehow I'm putting it on. But really, it ain't. I know there's more to life than money. Art. Love. The next exhibit is anamorphic. That means if you change perspective, you'll see something quite different. To get the most out of it, you just need to keep moving around, altering how you look at things. A bit like life, really, in my experience. Who's pulled the short straw, then? You're not Big Phil again. One and only. He likes doing the night shift. Says he can catch up on his Zeds. <laughs> Bollocks. Don't tell me. You've forgotten again. Uh, no, I haven't. Year the Titanic sunk. What are you hiding in there, Tony? So Charlie knows the situation. This isn't the old Tony. This is something different. It's Charlie, Mum. He gets it. His crew is solid. Fucking loons, to be honest. She'll be safe with him. Also, he's brought in more people. Serious people. Tony's got money, weapons, even more men now. We've got to match him. We will, Mum. Don't worry. How about you? How'd you get on? There's some sort of vault in the centre of the gallery. Might be something in it. Probably where he keeps his fucking ego. Yeah. Reckon you can get in there? Forget I said that. Charlie's men. Right. I need to marshal the troops, make sure everyone's on the same page. I should only be a couple of hours. Get into that vault and see what you can find. And boys, be careful. Yes, Mum. Ah, all right. So, how do we do this? There's only one guard on duty, Big Phil. Heavy sleeper by all accounts. One guard? Yeah. Well, it is supposed to be an art gallery. What are you two waiting for? Well, go on then, fuck off. Come on then, let's go and see some art. Well, I didn't tell you, I posed for a live drawing class once. That was interesting. So long. Okay, the frequency of whispering is much more prominent to the human senses than just talking quietly, yeah? You what? The frequency... Okay, don't whisper, just talk quietly, yeah? Okay? Come on, let's go. Ooh, look. Art. Huh. I suppose. This is very... tall. <laughs> So it's taken them ages to set these up. Mm. Huh. Doesn't look very sturdy now, does it, Ryan? Go on. Knock it over.
this. Wave your hands. Oh. <laughs> Hold tight for the Mark's crew! <laughs> <laughs> yes! <laughs> It's good though, you've got to admit. Yeah, that's that is pretty impressive. <laughs> <sighs> right, come on, then we've got a job to do. Tone deaf. Your mum's tone deaf. Nick, your <laughs> mum's my mum. Yeah. What's your point? <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what? Your dancing's actually pretty shit. Fuck you. Wait, I could have been the most average DJ ever. Hold tight, DJ Subpar. MC Middling! And the crew! <laughs> uh, I like that one. Sorry. We've got a mission to complete. Yeah, all right. Well, that was banging, though. Inside the rave! <laughs> Come on in, let's go. Creepy and weird. Yeah, isn't it? What are you doing? <laughs> Why are you creeping up on me? Oh, what? Then they teach you how to defend yourself in the army. Oh, shut up. But Tony's got a thing about mannequins. Twice, mate. I got you twice. All that training. <laughs> Come on then, let's go. Don't worry, I'll protect you. <laughs> Come on. Classic uh, goatee and spectacles. I bet I can guess what you're going to do. <laughs> <laughs> How much do you think this shit's worth? Probably more now. <laughs> yeah. uh, what we need you to see is a, is a splash more colour, like so. <laughs> Whoa! 
<laughs> Whoa. Now, that is amazing. Yeah, it's all right. Seriously, that is one of the best things I've ever seen. <laughs> How have they done that? Oh, must be computers. Yeah. 